as a child with scriptures and slokas, but the person with the spiritual, with the kind of, or with the brand of spiritual consciousness that I have become in my later years, where my latent feminine creative energy is the most sought after form of feminine, uh, of uh, divine or spiritual consciousness for me. So the poem is titled, The Divine Poem. I am a makeshift believer, nestled in the bistro of this life. In my kingdom of faith, the divine emerges, sometimes as the throbs in the azure sky, as the cloud bursts dancing in spirals breaking free in torrential rain. Sometimes, amid the twinkling lights in the pulses of a traffic, huddled close with sweat and convulsive bursts. Sometimes, as pebbles thrown in placid water bodies, causing rebellious ripples. Sometimes, in the eyes of nomadic globetrotters and carefree toddlers, I happen to cross paths with, in airports, shielded supermarkets, in nondescript cafes. Sometimes the divine emerges in the prancing and preening of a woman in love, walking down the alleys waiting, waiting for her Krishna with the flute. Sometimes the divine pirouettes as the image of a ravishing Devdasi, dancing with her entire cosmos prostrate at the feet of a stoned god, a high priest eager to usurp her. Sometimes as the image of a grand temple with mythical legendary sculptures, the feminine anatomy, the feminine anatomy, a testimony to my own body, which can be a temple, a mosque, a church, a gurdwara, a religious zone, which I might allow some to enter. In curls and twirls, welcoming my jagged edges, my hungry rain songs, in my kingdom of faith, the divine emerges sometimes as the Rava, Yaman, Kalyan, Behab, gliding up and down my undomesticated veins as I pull myself to perform a holy chanting. In my kingdom of faith, the ethereal goddess Saraswati and her Veena dances in the membranes of my haywire brain along with the neurotic pleasures of gobbling up and books, where humanity thrives indolent, shameless. In my kingdom of faith, Durga Kali Chandi dance the spirit dance of creation and apocalypse, the witches and fairies, reverse roles. Kings in epics become demons of misogyny, demons in myths become neglected half-told truths. What do I do? What do I do when in my kingdom of faith the cascading terrains of the sacrosanct and the sacrilegious crave to play, wreak havoc, gush out in rhythmic waves? I am a makeshift believer nestled in the mystery of this life. In my kingdom of faith, the divine emerges as scattered blotches of long nurtured anonymity. The divine emerges as a long, unnamed poem, shedding off, shedding off its bulky cloak of religion. I kiss, I kiss its unbound beauty as it takes me in my crust and my core. There is reference to a line of Nobel laureate of Bengal, Rabindranath Tagore's song, which goes like, Tomare Kuriachi Jibonero Dhubotara, Eshumutre Aro Kobu Hagonako Ishehara. Tomare Kuriachi Jibonero Dhubotara, which loosely translates as O Divine, I have made you the brightest star of my sky, my anchor, the anchor of my sojourn into the sea of this life. With, the, with you around, let me not turn astray anyhow, anywhere. Anyhow, anywhere. A voice sings within me, deep, unfathomable, the voice of a dead bard, whose song's lyrics turn into a secret offbeat rhythm 
beating inside an amusing, roaring inner world where trees swing the heaving wind, girlhood tales of river bodies, the light and darkness of endless mornings and nights turn into scriptures, pious utterances, pilgrimages, turn into the holy incense of surrendering. I am a makeshift believer, nestled 